Hello, Allie Dostel here with the We Are Memory Keepers design team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a few of the awesome We Are Memory Keepers and Lifestyle Crafts tools to create this fun birthday calendar. First of all, I printed my calendar pages, and they um, print two to a page, and then you can just trim them down using the guidelines on the page to four by eight. I added a strip of washi tape to the top of each page, and that's one of the things I love about We Are Memory Keepers washi tape is there are so many colors. You can go with anything, and they are fun geometric patterns. And so I just kind of picked a color to go with each season for the month. And then I um, rounded the corners on the bottom with my 3 8 inch corner chomper. For my covers, I took an 8x8 piece of chipboard and trimmed it in half to make two 4x8 covers to match the size of my papers. And I covered them on both sides with patterned paper. So I'm going to take my corner chomper now on the 3 8 inch side and I'm going to just round off those corners so they match the inside papers. Now that my covers are ready to go, I'm going to embellish them with these fun pennant dies from Lifestyle Crafts. What's so fun about these pennant dies is you get three different size tiers, plus you get extra pennants to layer on top so you can create multi-color pennants. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying my dies on the Genius platform, and it's magnetic so it holds these right in place. And so I'm going to put my paper see if we can see that better. Put that face down on top of the dies like so. And I'm going to take my A cutting mat, place that on top. That's my sandwich. I'm going to hold that steady. Pardon the bumps. And I'm going to get my evolution. Sorry you can't see that better, but you get the idea. I'm just going to run it through easy as can be. So I ran on my dies through the evolution a couple times and created lots of different pennants and I can take mini foam dots and just layer these individual um, flags on top of the pennants to create a fun look. Now that I've finished embellishing my cover with the fun pennants and some alpha stickers I'm ready to bind my calendar with the cinch. So first of all, I'm going to um, look up the width on the base. So my calendar is 4 inches wide, so I go to 4 inches, and that tells me which of these pegs to pull out so that I don't punch too many holes. I get just the right amount of holes. So then I'm going to line up my cover right here against this ledge. So I'm going to push it all the way back, make sure it's all the way back in the machine. And then I just press down and... There are my holes. So now that I've punched all parts of my calendar, I'm going to count how many holes I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to take this three-quarter inch binding wire and I'm going to count seven prongs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to use the handy wire cutters and just cut it off there. And I'm going to trim it real tight so that it doesn't poke anybody. Okay, so now I'm going to use the side of my cinch machine. This is a super handy feature and just kind of hang this on the side there and I'm going to line up my calendar in this order. Okay, all of my inside pages go on the bottom. Then my front cover goes on top. Then my back cover goes on with the inside facing up. Okay, so then I'm going to pull it off, turn my cinch machine around, and I'm going to line it up to three quarters of an inch. And that's the size of my wire, and then can't see, sorry, but you push that inside and line it up against the back wall there. Watch your fingers, and you just press down, and out comes your calendar then you just flip over your back cover and that hides the um, separation back there of the of the wire and there you have it